Dark falling deeper. Cold nights, I'm too much. 70.3 Much better Jesus Christ Who knows that feeling Is there any in there? Of course not Chillin Keep chillin Keep chillin It's an upper body day, warming up with just the bar and then slowly moving the weight up until I think I did 90 kilograms on this day. Um, so obviously, you know, don't start with the heaviest compound movement right from the top set. You know, you're just building up to it. Make sure you're warmed up and then you can um, do whatever you're supposed to do. Make sure you're tracking your strength gains, how many reps you do, how many sets you do. And I try to stay within the range of four to eight reps. I feel like that's optimal for gaining strength as well as muscle. Um, a lot of people go to 10, 12 reps. I just feel like it's really, really hard to progress on strength levels if you do that. Look at my form going to shit here as I lift my butt because I didn't want to get crushed by the weight. Um, and then I move to the pull-ups. You know, really just even just those two exercises alone could build you an amazing upper body literally it's probably the incline bench and the pull-up that i would do if i could only choose two exercises to do for the upper body um, but because the incline bench was heavy instead of doing weighted pull-ups i go for just body weight pull-ups sometimes i do this thing where i try to do like 10 9 8 7 6 um, you know i normally do three sets but sometimes i'll do five sets if i'm doing like body weight stuff then we move over to the weight section um, still keeping it compound movements i think this is going to be the unilateral shoulder press you guys know by now i love unilateral movements because it engages the core engages the obliques it's a very athletic movement you can imagine um shot put or you know it's just you put a lot more into a unilateral movement in terms of functionality and balance and yeah, trying to keep it again three sets four to eight reps i think i kept the weight uh, the same here um so you can see two compound exercises for for chest shoulder triceps and then two compound exercises for the pulling for the back this is one of my favorite back exercises it's the assisted rows or the bench assisted dumbbell rows really targeting the upper back engages the rear delts and yeah you, you can take the hip momentum out of it so it's one of my favorites then i move on to bicep curls all and, and, and tricep you know overhead tricep extension and then lateral raises pr pretty much 100 percent for aesthetics this one it's not necessarily that like healthy or functional but it gives you that pump and accentuates the v taper which is one of the key aspects of, a, of an upper body and that's it guys you know, I, I did cut it to make it not too long, but that's it. That was, you know, five, six exercises, 50 minutes, and I'm out of there. So keep it minimal, stick to the most important exercises, and just go with that. Then obviously I went to a uh, photo shoot. I found this photographer guy. We went on this abandoned apartment rooftop and did some photos. I'll show you some, uh, some of the shots that got taken. But um, basically, I'm trying to, yeah, like photo shoot, I feel is a really good way to set yourself sort of arbitrary uh, deadlines. 
uh, for you to get to a certain level of leanness or a certain uh, certain level of body fat, certain weight. Um, but this one wasn't necessarily like a naked shoot. It's just like a like a I don't know, just like an urban profile photo shoot kind of thing. I don't know where I'll use it. Hopefully, I get some good thumbnail shots for something. But I don't even have dating apps at this point, so I don't even know what this is for. But uh, it was a fun experience, nevertheless. Always nice to have good photos of yourself, you know. Cool. Hey, guys. So I just came back from the photo shoot. Hopefully, we can get some good thumbnails out of that one. And on the way back, I stopped off in the market that I've shown you before. It's so nice to have a Korean food market right next to my house. I think markets are great, you know, whatever city you're in, Naples, Barcelona, so use markets. I'm gonna show you what I bought. Some of my favorite stuff. Some of this sirloin, look at the marbling on this though, right? Like, this was on sale, 19,001, whatever that is in your currency. And then I stopped off in my favorite wine place, French red wine. I, I mostly drink Italian wine, because I lived in Italy longer and I know Italian wine better, but I might be going to France this summer, so I want to get in that French mood, you know? I used to drink a lot of wine by the Seine when I was an exchange student there in Paris, you know? And then this white wine, which I'm gonna use to make vongole, has like these tiles. Today is an Omel day, one meal a day. Bam! You know, just make sure you lose. I didn't even think this is just one giant piece. So I'm doing that thing where like Vongole has some protein, but clearly not enough because I, I didn't need anything today. Got some fresh thyme. But yeah, guys, I might be going to Paris because an old friend of mine invited me. I miss Europe. I miss Paris. I haven't been back in like eight years and something about Paris that I really like so hopefully it's gonna be a good time um, and hopefully I can get some good like videos for you guys as well show you Paris and people asking about fashion and stuff which is quite strange because I was never someone who dressed well but you know I would like to share with you some of the things that I learned along the way that allowed me to dress better you can see that I'm kind of not totally secure in my dress sense you can sense that right Whereas when I talk about fitness, it's just like, boom, this is what you gotta do. Don't worry about the protein. Get on the minimalist training. Jump on it with me. Check out the link below, right? I don't talk like that when I talk about fashion. Oh, another thing that I wanted to run by you is, I have this idea. Feel free to steal it, because I think it's an insane idea. And people that I've told it to, they were like, bro, this is insane. One of my favorite shows is How I Met Your Mother. So I was like, what if I do a real kind of sitcom slash real life documentary of me trying to find the one, my wife, right? And I'll title it like How I Met Your Mom or something. And I'll just detail the experience from like how I go about meeting people, maybe with permission I can film some dates, how I got the date, how it unfolds, all this kind of stuff. Um, Cause then eventually I could show it to my kids, How I Met Your Mom right that would be really cool now the thing is i don't actually want to get married at this point i don't necessarily even want kids it's just this kind of thing in the future where it's like yeah at some point i probably do documenting the journey from now like how i feel now to to that point could be pretty cool right what do you think what do you think if you if you like the idea if you're interested in that leave it down below um in the comments and I'll, I'll do it for you. Maybe the first episode will be in Paris or something, you know. Anyways, guys, let's get back to the cooking. Vongole is very simple. Olive oil, vongole, parsley, vino bianco, good pasta, aglio peperoncino, finito. Okay? The most important thing about pasta is you want to take it out undercooked as... Then you dunk it in the sauce so that as it cooks and becomes more edible, it sucks up all that sauce. And the, the, the life of Vongole is in the emulsification between the olive oil, the pasta water, and the Vongole juice, and the white wine. And once you put it all together with fresh parsley, it's one of the best pastas ever made. Italian pasta is extremely 
simple. My physical state right now is not that like amazing or anything. You can see that I have some leanness now. But if you want to just look slim, lean, athletic, look good in clothes, look good when you take off your shirt, have leanness and lightness on your feet so you can do a lot of activities, okay, and not waste hours in the gym, then you're in the right place. Because look at what I eat. Literally, look at what I eat today. It's going to be pretty fucking good. Okay, let's get to it. You know the deal. Heat this, put vongole, put white wine, put parsley, put the pasta, combine it, finished. Okay, just gotta let the wine evaporate from that. This is too small a pan, so I'm gonna have to combine it all here. But So that's dinner over, gonna do some work, it's 10 p.m. now, and uh, had a tiny bit of ice cream, <laughs> all good, ciao.